and welcome everyone. Uh, Happy New Year. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Welcome to iMogul TV. This is my first official video of the new year 2016 and I'm really excited. I have a lot of products that I've been using all last year and testing and I can't wait to um, review those with you and share my likes and my dislikes and all the things I've been that's been working uh, with me when it comes to like skincare and hair products and things like that. So I'm super excited to get started with that. Um, so far, my God, we're already at the end of January. I mean, that's crazy to me. It's, I swear, the older I get, the faster time flies. And I used to hear that cliche all the time when I was growing up and I didn't really get it until, you know, now in my 40s. Yeah, I get it. I, I really get it. It kind of sucks. Anyway, so it's been a crazy year already. Um, and I really just kind of want to encourage you today, just because of some of the experiences that we've had. My brother, uh, or I should say my husband's younger brother passed away um, in the end of last year, December, late December. Um, and we you know, it was really unexpected. So it was, you know, it was a hard time going through that. And then at the beginning of the year, my husband was laid off. Now, normally something like that would probably get me all crazy and annoyed, but he actually works in an industry where, you know, they get laid off a lot. So at this point we're, you know, we're kind of used to it, but I'm thankful that I started my business um, the mid uh, June of last year. And so we have, you know, stuff to fall back on. We have help. And I'm thankful today that I made that decision that I wanted to do something where if anything happened financially, I would be taken care of. But at the same time, you get discouraged. And I want to, I want to talk to you today. If you're working at your nine to five and, you know, you hate your job, maybe you, not even hate, maybe you just are tired of being told what to do or having to get up at a certain time, you know, having to be somewhere, having to, uh, to have a push a time clock and answer to someone, or maybe the people that you work with are negative, or you don't get along, or you don't fit in, or maybe you're an introvert and it's uh, the 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 program or your job is geared towards extroversion and you're putting yourself out there and it's not something that you enjoy. It's not bringing joy to your life in any way. I want to encourage you if you have a dream of doing something else in your life. And maybe you haven't started, maybe you've just been thinking about it, maybe you feel like it's a grandiose dream um, that it could never happen. I just want to say, yes, it can. If you make the choice today that you're going to take a step, no matter how small, towards uh, your dream, towards what you really want to do in life, whether it be you know starting your own business or starting your own uh, foundation. My husband and I, we run a nonprofit organization as well where we help inner city kids. And that's been a dream of his you know, for ever since I've known him for over 20 years uh, to help boys, young inner city kids get to college. And right now he's out and taking them snowboarding over in Big Bear. We live in California. And he's living his dream, you know, and at first it took him a while to, to take that step to start his own organization. But nowadays with the internet, anything is possible with Facebook, you know, being able, he's kind of, a, he's an extrovert anyway. So, you know, he'll go out and he'll put boots to the ground kind of marketing. And he's really good at that. I'm an online marketer. You know, I, I'm the techie part of the person in the family, but he's boots on the ground and he built, he literally built that business himself, but it took him a while to get the courage to do it, even though I knew he could do it. And I know he knew he can do it, but just having that courage to make that decision that you're going to do it. And so I want to encourage you today, 2016, you're breathing, you have air in your lungs, you have a new day to do something that you love to do no matter, and take a step towards that. Maybe it seems too big for you, but take one small step that you can think of that takes you closer to accomplishing or just starting that dream. That's what I want to encourage you to do today. And don't let anything get in your way. Don't let any minor setback, don't let it stop you. Don't let it discourage you. Like I said, when he first got laid off, when we first got married, it was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Oh, it was crazy, you know, because you 
I didn't have, um, I don't know, I didn't have faith in what I was doing or, you know, you, you, you're, you're put into the unknown of how you're going to bring an income, how you're going to pay your rent, how you're going to pay your mortgage, whatever, how you're going to pay your bills, but it all works out. It always works out. And sometimes we just have to go with the flow. I was watching, listening to an Abraham Hicks um, video and she was trying to walk this person through, um, you know, they hated their job, but they had this dream of doing something better, but it seemed so far-fetched that it would never happen. And if you've ever listened to Abraham Hicks, she always talks about changing your language, being softer about your language. This woman was saying her dream was grandiose. And she said, why does it have to be grandiose? You know, believe that it's possible. You know, say maybe it seems big now, but I can take a smaller step that will sit me, you know, get me closer to having that dream come true. You know, be easy with yourself. Don't resist. Maybe you have a job that you're not happy in. Don't resist that because that makes you trying to get your dream it makes it that much harder. So what you need to do is take a look at where you're at and try and find something that you love or that you like about, you know, attach yourself to a friend at work that makes you laugh and maybe that'll help you get through the days and until you get closer to, you know, your dream and your and your goal. But the more you resist, the more you wake up every morning and, and just, you know, oh, I hate my job and I don't want to go there. The, I guarantee you the longer it's going to take you to get to where you want to go. You have to focus on what you want and not what you don't want. And that's something that I have to had to learn. And I'm still learning because there's always something that's going to come your way that's going to be like, okay, um, this is sucks. You know, how am I going to, how am I going to stop thinking about this? How am I going to change my perspective on this issue so that I'm not, you know, complaining or crying about it, but I can look at what I want and just focus on what I want and just keep walking in that direction to make that happen. So happy new year. I hope that whatever I've said has struck a chord in you to go for what you want and believe that you can have it don't let anything, uh, let any minor setback, don't let it affect you. Don't let it stop you from going towards your goal. All right. So thank you for joining me. I'm super excited. We're going to, um, my next video, I am going to talk about the Paracone products because, um, I've been using that for a lot of years. And so we're going to do a review on that. And that's going to be my first product review of 2016. So thanks again for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if this was valuable to you. Thanks again and bye-bye for now.